This is a video about our attempts at capturing this life-enriching event called Blood Nerve. Having done our research before, we knew that the number would begin at 1660 local time. Originally, we thought it'd be interesting to shoot both the sunset theme and the beginning of the total lunar eclipse. But at the last moment, we decided to take only the eclipse. By the time we were there, the sunset was in full swing, and the dramatic clouds that we used to love so much became discouraging. While taking this time lapse, we pondered over the big question of the afternoon. Where is the moon? A few hours later, stomachs started to rumble. We ran out of jokes to kill time. And the distance restaurant started calling our names on the sirens. We almost decided to call it a day. Then, out of the blue, I spotted the faint and elusive glimmer of the blood moon. And the show began. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the blood moon of October the 8th, 2014, as seen from Sanra Beach, Bali. Enjoy! about what you've just seen. A blood moon is a popular non-scientific term that is used for any one of four total lunar eclipses that happen in a row, also called a lunar tetrad. We are currently in a tetrad, and this is the second blood moon of the tetrad. The next two will be on April the 4th and September 28th of 2015. Blood moons in a tetrad occur in an interval of six months. There are only eight tetrads in the century. The first was in 2003 and 2004. We are in the second tetrad. The next tetrad will be in 2043, continuing on to 2044. Another interesting fact about this event is Uranus. At this blood moon, it was at a distance of around 19 times the average distance between our Earth and the Sun. That's as close to Earth as Uranus ever gets. Due to parallax, the position of Uranus relative to the Moon varied significantly depending on where you were viewing it from Earth. 